Hi, I'm John of BAL, and today we're going to update a video on our popular high to spare underframe spare tire carrier. So what's nice about this model is it helps you remove the tire from some of the rear mounted spare tire carriers on the bumper and get it out of sight, out of mind, up underneath the frame. Now we get a lot of questions on which of the two models to pick, so we're going to try to help you out with that here. The first thing you need to do is measure the width of your frame, so side to side of the vertical surface of your frame rails. If that falls within 68 to 75 inches, the high to spare product will work for you. Now the second thing to consider is if you have a open or an enclosed underbelly. So between the frame rails, whether that is an open cavity that you can see the skeleton of the frame, or is it enclosed, meaning that it has the plastic enclosure, sheet enclosure that goes frame to frame to keep the elements out, road debris, etc. So depending on if you have that or not, the two models are as follows. This model here is the 28218, and that is an underslung model to fit enclosed underbellies. So as you can see, the tire actually hangs a little bit below the frame. Now in this case, you'll want to mount this spare tire as close to the axle as possible to reduce ground clearance issues. So if you have an open underbelly, so you can look up underneath and see the cavity of the frame, see the skeleton. We have a model 28217 that you can recess into the frame cavity. In that instance though, you need the spacing to be able to put the diameter of the tire up into the frame. Now that's a shorter bracket model, so it reduces ground clearance issues. Both of these models will work on box frames, which are C-channel, Z-channel box frames, or on I-beam frames. We have a lip on the bracket that will step around an I-beam. So once you've determined which model that you need, the last thing that you'll need to consider is the width of our brackets on each side are 14 inches. So you will need a spot on your frame, on the exterior surface of your frame, to lay the two 14-inch brackets. The storage bracket here on the passenger side and the pivot bracket on the driver's side. So if you have open frame area, parallel from each other to mount 14 inches of brackets, then you'll be able to mount the, the spare tire carrier. So you'll drill two holes through the frame on each side of the frame to put a minimum of grade five bolts through the frame. Now, if you have an enclosed underbelly, you're gonna to need to be able to drop that to get your hand up underneath there to make sure that you're not drilling into any tanks or plumbing or wiring, but also too to secure the bolts. So those are really the only factors that you'll need to consider when trying to determine which model that you need. And we will put those numbers up at the end of this video. Now, we're gonna follow this up with a separate video attached to this that's gonna show you the operation of the spare tire carrier. So if you have any questions on this after you've watched the video, please go to our website. We have some pictures of the product as well as some installation instructions. Norcoind.com slash BAL. One last step to the installation is to add a lubricant to the inner tube of the high to spare while it's in the extended position. This will make the high to spare easier to operate in the event that you need to remove the tire. To release the high to spare, pull out the safety pin, unscrew the set nut, grab onto the arms, pull out, down, and telescope out to where you can reach the tire. Proudly made in the USA and offered at fine RV dealers and retailers nationwide.